Well, he's a once in a generation mind that CBS fans have gotten to enjoy two times over. Of course, talking about Sheldon Cooper. You saw him grow up uh, on the, ver you saw the grown up version of him on the Big Bang Theory. And the early genius is on full display now. And young Sheldon starting its fifth season. Young Sheldon himself, Ian Armitage, <laughs> joins us live here this morning. Ian, thank you for being here. You started the show when you were nine years old. You're 13 now. What's it like being the title character of your very own show at your very young but distinguished age? Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I had so much fun uh, doing it and just, I mean, you know, it's, it's amazing. And it's like one of those once in a lifetime opportunities that, you know, it sort of every once in a while just hits me really hard that it's, I'm really lucky to be a part of this. And it's just so crazy and rare what we get to do. I totally understand that. I look at my role here at the TV station and I feel totally lucky that I'm here. So I understand that taking a big picture look at that's a very matured uh, decision and view a point that you have here at your age, sir. Uh, another question is what are we going to see this season uh, from young Sheldon? In this season, there's going to be a whole lot of very funny and wonderful scenes. And, you know, of course, it's Sheldon, typical dysfunctional family stuff. But uh, also, as they hint in Big Bang Theory, there are going to be some bumps in Mary and George's relationship. Uh, so I think the writers have been doing a wonderful job of keeping it serious, but also very funny. So I'm sure you enjoy your time on set working with everybody there. It looks like it's got to be a blast to be a part of. But when you get some time to yourself, you know, when you get to get away from it, what are some of the things that you like doing uh, just to live as a normal 13-year-old kid? There are hundreds, to be honest. <laughs> um, I mean, of course, I love hanging out with other 13-year-old kids. Um, I love learning Russian, speaking Russian, singing in Russian, all of it. Um, I love hamsters and playing with hamsters and hugging hamsters and just having them generally around. Uh, I love making knots out of paracord and uh, really complicated and complex knots. <laughs> You are a, a man among men there. Sir, I am that you speak Russian. Can you give us a little example of Russian real quick? Да, я говорю по-русски. I can teach you a little bit if you want. Sure, yes. I would love to tell the people that young Sheldon taught me Russian here. Like, what can, like, give me something, something easy we can say real quick. What do you think? Just like, hello, my okay. name is Bill. Have a great day. Okay. Uh, do you want formal or informal? Uh, I'm an informal guy. Let's go informal. You'd say, привет. 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 Меня зовут Bill. Mean, okay, Bill. I got it. <laughs> I'm going to have to rewatch this and learn this as we go. <laughs> so. Привет. Which means like good day. I love it. Man, thank you so much. I'm going to take that and use it later on today. Uh, we can catch you and the Young Sheldon crew Thursday nights at 7 o'clock here on KCTV5. Again, thank you for your time. Double thumbs up. It's going to be a good day. Here's your Monday primetime lineup. The neighborhood is at 7. Bob Hart's Abishola at 7.30. At 8, it's NCIS on its new night, followed by NCIS Hawaii at 9. Then, of course, stick around for KCTV 5 News at 10.